Lasers and eye clamps may not sound tempting, but for the millions of people suffering from and searching for perfect vision, it's the answer to their dreams. Dr. Harmon Stein is a surgeon at Campus Eye Group in Hamilton. And it's safer than contact lenses. There's, the, well, because uh, the incidence of complications with contact lenses, like corneal ulcers, infections, which can be you know, quite devastating, is far greater. Ideal candidates must be over the age of 18 and have a stable lens prescription for about two years. Somebody who's got a moderate amount of nearsightedness or farsightedness, a moderate amount of astigmatism, um, uh, somebody who has got no other eye disease. NJTV's executive producer felt ready to go under the knife, allowing our cameras to watch. It starts with preoperative screening. OFLC3, mm -hmm. APS025. This looks like a basic eye exam, but the docs are monitoring multiple elements of the cornea. Is that a little clearer? Yes. Is that a little better yet? During the procedure, a flap is created by vaporizing tiny bubble-like perforations, separating the tissue with a computer-controlled femtosecond laser. Now this is exquisitely thin. This is about 110 microns. To give you an idea, the very, very thinnest contact lens you could ever get is 250 microns. The flap is closed again, correcting the curvature of the cornea and correcting vision. It's great, Phil. That eye's done. And this same technology is now translating to bladeless cataract surgery, the clinical director explains. It, it takes uh, several things out of the process, the hard parts of cataract surgery to allow surgeons to do. It can make the incision, the initial incision that the surgeon has to do into the cornea with a laser instead of a blade. Cost has also come down about three to five thousand dollars, and while it feels steep up front, it's a small cost com compared to contact lenses, frequent eye, eye doctor visits over your life, glasses. The entire process takes about fifteen to twenty minutes, and the discomfort following post-op. Other than feeling like I have an eyelash in my my eye, um, you know, feel pretty good to go. Dr. Cohen says while it may be a quick fix, it's not always perfect. Not to say we don't see complications, it's not to say that problems don't exist with this procedure, but with the newer lasers uh, and better pre-screening that we do, those are much, much fewer than we've ever seen in the past. And recovery time is quick. Phil regained vision immediately after surgery. About 95% of patients are feeling well and back to work within 24 hours, which means everyone back at the station can expect to see our boss tomorrow. In Hamilton, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.